should you take cheap freight just to get home, man? Should you take cheap freight on a backhaul? You gotta get to your kid's event. You gotta get to a doctor's appointment. You know what I'm saying? You just tired of being on the road. Comment down below. Let me hear your thoughts. At the end of this video, we're gonna talk more about it. I'm gonna give you guys my opinion and what I think on taking cheap freight just to get back home, y'all. Stay tuned. Top of the morning, people. Top of our morning. Good morning, babe. Good morning. Good morning. How you feeling? Good morning, America. Feeling I good. Feeling yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good. How you liking this weather? Since you brought us up out here, well, you didn't bring us up to South Dakota. <laughs> Somebody else did. Yeah. Well, it's not bad. I mean, I'm enjoying. It's freezing. It is cold, but I mean, I'm enjoying it because we were in the hotel, but. I don't know what's gonna be of me the next few days. I don't like it when it's cold when I'm sleeping in the truck. Oh shit. Anyways, we're getting ready to go drop off this Man. hell of a long load and there. see how the week goes man we're gonna do a whole week see how it is getting out of south dakota we are on a mission to get back to texas because we have an event this weekend freight fest that we will be attending but let's go drop off this load man and see how we get up out of here i think it had to be below 30. truck sounds good and healthy but the entire windshield was all frozen Ah, uh, T, no. Alright, we got all our lights. PJ. Wait, we got time for this? It's in my pocket right here. Steve, we have time. Dale. You say you don't want them, right? No. Alright guys, what's up man? Welcome back to another video. This week we're gonna take you guys on the road. We're gonna show you the load, show you a, a run, probably a week run. And um Yes sir, see how we do this week. It's gonna be a little bit difficult starting out, you know, because as I've probably spoken about either in this video or in the previous video, one of the previous videos, we don't really come up to South Dakota, but we were asked to take this load up here. Uh, it paid pretty well. So even if we got a deadhead a little bit, then so be it. Yeah, man, I've had the truck running probably for about maybe 15, 20 minutes just to get everything warmed up. We're just about done with our pre-trip. Wife just went and got some, uh, went to go get some tea. Me and Hope are in here warming up. And it's a beautiful day out there, man. So let's go get it done, drop this off, and hopefully, you know, find something else to get out of here. All right, y'all. So we just got here to the drop off. And um, I got a few things to pick up, man. We got a lot of straps, chains, binders. We actually found a load, man, while driving here. Or if you got a load booked, it's about a 54 mile deadhead. And it's going to, uh, where's it going? I think it's going to Iowa, right between Omaha and, between Omaha and Des Moines. So much better area. It's paying, not paying the best, but at least we don't have the deadhead out of here. I think it's paying about 224 a mile. Uh, they were asking, they wanted, they posted it for 700, they got up to eight, 800. So anyway, let me get this stuff uh, going so we can get up out of here.
right, y'all, we on to the next one. Mission accomplished. Header has been delivered safely. Customer is happy. All right, 54 miles. And then, uh, before that, though, I gotta go pick up some def. Pick up a few things from Walmart. And then we'll be picking up. Then we got a short run down to Iowa, right between uh, right between Des Moines and Omaha. So, got some freight coming out of there. We just haven't seen nothing, you know, worth grabbing yet. They had a few going down to Houston, which is what we're trying to do, get back home. But $2 a mile, $1.60 a mile. And we're talking about 40 feet, 16,000 pounds. The one we saw called on was actually eight, I mean eight. It was eight, six wide, 10 feet high. We're like ne negative. And they wouldn't budge, so. All right, y'all, we rolling. Quick little pit stop here at Walmart, y'all. On the way to this drop, I mean pick. Wifey ran in, gonna get me some death. Get some snacks for the road. Eating some cereal, man. Beautiful day out here, though. Yeah. You gotta be optimistic out here. Can't always be complaining about shit. You feel me? I know, Hope. Hope ready to go home. Like she in jail. Yeah, we are picking up our next load. We're not in the middle of nowhere. All right, guys, here we go. Loaded, getting out of South Dakota, 13,200 pounds. Looks like roofing material. But yeah, three straps on each, two on the front. And we out of here, man. Wifey, the new style is in, you feel me? Uh, I don't feel you, please. <laughs> What's all this, babe? Is this gray or just dry? A dry skin. Did I look dry? Okay, there we go. <laughs> nah, man, that's gray, bro. Making dinner for the night. Yeah, this flying J. On sopita. Kimchi soup. Yeah, it's one of them type of nights. I know I ain't the only one that been to this uh, flying jail out here in uh, Iowa off the 80. Taco John's. It's right here when you get from the uh, the 29 coming out of, just coming down in um, that, Sauk City. It's Catuasa. Conestoga. Yo, if you want to get tarp loads and don't feel like tarping, don't feel like doing the work, grab yourself a kind of stoga, man. Just won't be able to do no oversized loads. No oversized loads. Where we parked at? Next to the 
the other beautiful Why the fuck you lying? He's at the location getting empty. Oh my god. Stop fucking lying. This is just wonderful. Pick up and drop off on these dirt roads, bruh. see a crane anywhere. What was this guy talking about? I'm gonna buy some construction. Maybe that's it over there. Make a right. Uh, okay, maybe over there. After you pass the railroad track, this looks like an exit. But I'm gonna go for a swim. 1806 21, that's it, huh? I think we're here, people. Think that That's all we've been seeing, man. It's just. Guys, I fucked up. <laughs> Almost lost my damn tarp, bro. Oh man. Almost lost it on these back roads out here. So. Well, he better. Yeah, so I gotta get this backed up and get moving because we gotta pick up this load. Y'all look at this tall ass load this woman done book me, bro. God damn. It's about 10-4 high, 10-3 high. We were expecting to get three pieces, but guy came out and says, nope, all three pieces are in here. And we are uh, only 5,400 pounds. Thought we were gonna be 16,000. So, you know, we're about to look for another load and put something with that. Way up. God damn. Why you building this tall ass load? Because it's taking us home and it's paying good. Alright, y'all know me. So we got this piece, which I said we thought this was gonna be a full truck, man. I thought we thought it was gonna be three pieces, but they said the three pieces are actually built in this unit on top of each other. So we got a vehicle, and hopefully tomorrow we can get something to go with it something else to get down because we're getting back home where the hell is this car oh there it is look at that man that thing lined right up ready for me right there all right we're gonna pick up this vehicle and keep it moving night number i don't know what at the truck stop she's had it you had enough mm -hmm. I don't know, you had enough, this road is getting to you. Yeah, it was. That's how it'd be getting to you when you get on your she had, a, she had a meltdown today. <laughs> <laughs> she said, fuck everything about trucking. I'm going back to my job. <laughs> fuck this shit. This shit ain't easy, y'all. Huh? Real life. Real thoughts. She was shedding some tears. Damn. 
It's fucking 11 something o'clock and we're here eating Taco Bell. Horrible. $24. Come on, day to day, man. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what the hell we spent $24 on in Taco Bell. Remember, Taco Bell used to be a thing back in the days. It would be like $12. That all that we bought would have been like $12. It literally went up like... Yo, these hairs, they're not even gray. They're white. That's out of control. Y'all see my eyes, but I'm tired. The adventure must continue. Should you take cheap freight just to get home, man? Should you take cheap freight on a backhaul? I know you got to get to your kid's event. You got to get to a doctor's appointment. You know what I'm saying? You just tired of being on the road. Comment down below. Let me hear your thoughts. At the end of this video, we're going to talk more about it. I'm going to give you guys my opinion and what I think on taking seat free just to get back home, y'all. Stay tuned. I got to admit, man, this long hair, boy. This long hair just messing me up, man. That, brother. The fuel mileage I'm getting on this is probably the worst it's ever been. I'm at 7.1 miles to the gallon right now. It's just a huge wind drag. Then we got this brand new uh, Chevy Blazer. Um, just to bring our RPM just under $3 to get back home. So we got 2100 and I believe 600 And we are coming from Albany, Missouri. So Albany, Missouri going down to Richmond, Texas. If you guys want to do the calculation of the mileage and shit, you can but this was this picked up right in uh, Kansas City, right below Albany, Missouri. We were still looking for something, man. If I were to push this vehicle up, I think I still got about 12 feet. But this has to be there tomorrow morning at 8 for a crane appointment. If we see something, another small vehicle or like a 10 foot uh, load, something that's about 10 feet, then you know we could uh, we could throw something on here and maximize a little bit more. But for now, this is really it, man. This is a strict appointment for 8 a.m. We're about an hour away from the drop. So I said, you know what? We're staying home for the night and I'll do this in the morning. But in transit, this shit done ripped apart. So they gonna have to take it just like that. It is what it is, man. I don't know what they expected. All right, y'all. We about to head home. Get at this tomorrow and wrap this up. Oh, get in the car. All right, y'all, we gonna wrap this video up, man. We just got unloaded. It is, what's today, Thursday? Last load of the week, got back to Houston early. Anyways, let me touch on what I asked earlier in the video, man. Should you take cheap freight? on a backhaul or to get back home. I stick more towards no because, and I'll tell you why. And then again, what's considered cheap freight? For us, coming back home, anything less than $2, we're not taking it, we're not touching it. We're not only trying to get back home just to make fuel. We gotta at least see a profit on top of that as well. But here's what I think it does, how it affects everyone. Whether you got a high operating cost or lower overhead, I don't think it matters. We all live everywhere, man. There's people living in Houston, there's people living in Atlanta, Indianapolis, Chicago, all over. If y'all really think about it and say, hey, 
hey, all we're gonna do is uh, take cheap freight to go home, it's affecting those lanes for everyone. Doesn't matter where, because everyone's not always going home. Being that there's so many people going home at a time, saying I'm gonna just take cheap freight, it affects the market. I think we gotta try to avoid that as much as possible because even with the way the market is right now on the spot market, rates are down. And then I get it, you know, people gotta get home, they got an appointment, they got a, the kids event, you know, it's the end of the week and dispatching might not be working that hard to partial you home or find you a good load or work that hard to get you home and just get you the first load. But a dollar sixty, a dollar eighty, you know, we seen that on the board where we were at. We just weren't taking it because it just doesn't make sense. Be patient and that load will come. But anyways, y'all, that's it. I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Yeah, man. Peace. Appreciate y'all. Later.